Scotty, just how special was that, mate? Describe, maybe describe what, what you did when you woke up this morning. What were you expecting when you came to the ground today? Uh, I sort of thought that the well, the game might be over today, but I was, I was more thinking later in the day and we would have to chase maybe 150 runs or something like that. But um, yeah, it happened so quick. Bowling a team out in 28 overs is very rare. So yeah, pretty good day. Did you feel on from the moment you got the ball? Uh, I felt comfortable. Like I felt like the ball was coming out, coming out well last night. But it come out well after my, my first or second spell in the first innings as well. So um, yeah, it was just amazing. Have you played on a wicket like this? Like you played, you've played here so much, Scotty. Was that, I mean, was that the most assistance you ever got out of this earth? Uh Probably, yeah. Uh, I think the ball. We played a game here in about two months ago for Victoria and the ball nipped around pretty much the whole game as it did to, uh, this game as well. Even when the ball got a bit old, it still still did a bit. Um, we still thought once the ball got a bit soft, it would be, it would be nice for batting, but um, yeah, we we're lucky enough that the ball stayed hard for the for the overs we bowled today. Could you believe just how quickly it happened? No, that, yeah, I said to someone out there, I was like, this shit never happens, like, yeah. it just happened so fast. Getting Joe Root out, that must have been a, a really special moment. Was that the moment that you kind of dreamed, or dared to dream, I guess, that you might wrap it up today? Yeah, I thought, um, well, obviously coming in, he's the number one ranked batter in the world, or number two, but yeah, he's had an awesome year. I, yeah, I don't know, I've sort of lost the words. I didn't really expect to be able to get someone like him out, but yeah, it's just my day, I guess. I know you've been asked a lot about the Indigenous side of this and the significance of it, and I think you said at the press conference the other day you almost struggled to kind of put into words how to how to explain it. What does it mean, I guess, to you to, to win the Johnny Millard medal? Yeah, um, so yeah, me and my brother and um, the Indigenous team went away to yeah. England three or four years ago, um, so we got to sort of experience and learn about how that tour went in uh, 1868. And, um, yeah, to, oh, to win the medal is amazing, and I think my, yeah, my family would be very proud. Is it the kind of thing, I mean, who are, who are your heroes growing up, Scotty? Did you come to Boxing Day test matches? I mean, was it was it Clem McGrath, was it Brett Lee? Yeah, I was probably Warney, being yeah. a Victorian, yeah. uh, Glenn McGrath, and even more recently, just looking up to guys like Pato and um, Sids and John Hastings, who have had a lot of um, a lot, a lot of influence on my career. So, yeah, I've got plenty to thank for, for those guys. And the next part of that question, I guess, is do you realise the significance of it? When you look around today, there's lots of people, there 40,000 people yesterday, the significance of you, I guess, uh, as an Aboriginal man, um, you know, doing this out in front of so many people that, you know, you'll be a role model to these guys? Yeah, well, that's, oh, that's what we, oh, the, oh, the Aboriginal guys and girls who are playing oh, first class cricket and big bash and stuff, I think that's what, that's what we want. We want, we want to be help, help grow the game, we want, we want cricket to be as as big in the Aboriginal community as it is, as NRL is or yeah. AFL is. So um, if this can go a step to helping that, then yeah, I'm happy. Just got to ask, when you're running down the fine leg every time, it seems like the, the, the roar got louder and louder. What in particular is that like? Um, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. I was trying to soak it in, um, but then still thinking oh, I still had a job to do when I got back up. So I was trying to soak it up for a couple of balls and then um, yeah, just kept thinking about what I wanted to do at the crease. Is it completely different to, I mean, playing shield cricket here, it's, it's empty uh, most of the time. Like, just describe the difference between um, between that and this. Uh, I think the, well, the, the my process of what I want to do with the ball is exactly the same. Like, I don't want to change anything there. I think I, you know, what I've been doing for the last probably five, six, seven years is um, got me to this position, so I didn't want to change any of that. But obviously the crowd makes it hard and I sort of felt a bit foggy in my thinking in the first innings and um, I sort of wanted to try and work my way through that and I felt a lot clearer in the second in, second dig. Right, you got you got the fog out of your brain then. Yes. <laughs> well done Scotty. Thank you.